The hardest thing to have to deal with when being diagnosed at a young age with breast cancer is going through fertility and I had only 10 days, my medical team gave me 10 days before starting chemo to freeze my eggs and make the decision of, okay, like, do I want cancer to affect my life long term? Like, do I want to, like, be in my 30s and deciding to have kids and then, you know, can't because I was diagnosed at 22? Um, and I only had one shot to do it. Like, once you're in chemo, you're infertile because you're in menopause. So that was the hardest thing. Fertility preservation in young people with breast cancer is a huge issue. Um, there have been various studies that have shown that fewer than one in three women and men, remember, um, who are being counseled about cancer treatment um, and who are in childbearing ages are uh, offered or have a discussion about fertility preservation. It's also important in terms of timing. When someone is diagnosed with breast cancer, of course, we want to start treatment as early as we can. But to do a cycle of egg harvesting can take a few weeks. And so getting that person in to see someone right away so as not to delay treatment can be quite critical. When my surgeon told me that I had to freeze my eggs, I was like, what? And she was like, do you want to have kids? And I was like, I'm 22, about to be 23. I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, like, um, I think it'd be like, I would love to be a mom. Um, I don't want to choose right now, but you know, I had to, but you know, I don't want cancer to define my future and I want to have that option later on. And so that's why I did the egg freezing. A diagnosis of breast cancer is always traumatic, but for someone so young, we always have to be mindful of how this diagnosis and the treatment for breast cancer has to fit within the context of their life. In Roshni's case, she pursued egg harvesting and freezing, which is one way. We also introduced a medicine that is an injection that is done in conjunction with chemotherapy to help protect her ovaries from the toxic effects of chemotherapy. You know, in Roshni's case, we knew she needed chemotherapy first, but there are other women where we don't know yet when they have surgery first, what the next steps will be. And so it's important to just have that on our radar as cancer physicians and to get that set up so we're ahead of the game and not a lot of time is wasted. And for a patient, if you are in your childbearing ages and you want to consider childbearing, it's important to ask about that if it isn't being offered and seek it out and to be your own advocate to, to seek those consultations.